Hi there ladies and gentlemen, this is Eastwood for Life Fan here, back with another monthly update. And this is a movie pickups update for the month of July 2021. And in July we picked up some DVDs, some uh, Blu-rays and some 4K movie titles. And uh, before we get to the movies on show, it's uh, shout out time and the shout out goes out to my fellow Western movie fan from down under in Australia. Uh, goes up by the channel name of uh, simply known as Jace. Um, yeah, Jace doesn't put out many uh, videos on a regular basis, but when he does an update, he picks up a hell of a lot of stuff. A uh, big Western movie fan as well as action movies and also a mixed movie uh, genre fan. And he also likes his uh, major boutique label. So yeah, please do go and check out his channel and his uh, latest update. A nice channel and also a cool guy also. So yeah, check out the channel link in the uh, description box down below. So to the uh, update, and we'll start off with some Westerns actually. Uh, the two only DVDs I picked up, which are Spaghetti Western movie bootlegs of two movies. I've never had a uh, an official English audio release. This is a late 1960s Spaghetti Western, Dead for a Dollar, starring George Hilton and John Ireland. Uh, this one's also known as Trusting is Good, Shooting is Better, which actually does sound a little bit better than the plain dead for a dollar title but yeah this one they george hilton spaghetti western that i haven't seen also stars gordon mitchell another regular and uh george hilton did go on to make uh, many spaghetti westerns after his debut with franco nero in uh, massacre time And the other Spaghetti Western bootleg is a Anthony Stephan movie, Too Much Gold for One Gringo. And this is also known as They Believed He Was No Saint, which is actually more closer to the uh, European title. But Too Much Gold for One Gringo is more of a US uh, title. And... Uh, this one from the early 1970s was one of the last uh, ones that um, Anthony Stephan starred in the, in the uh, genre. Also, Fernando Sancho, another regular, is uh, in this movie. Yeah, two spaghetti westerns I've never seen before to the collection. And speaking of spaghetti westerns, uh, did do a unboxing video on the uh, westerns for life feature. This is the Arrow Video Vengeance Trails spaghetti western set, which came with four spaghetti western movies. In this set, you get Massacre Time with uh, Franco Nero. My name is uh, Pecos with uh, Robert Woods, Bandidos. And also, and God said to Kane with uh, Klaus Kinski. A fine set from Arrow Video for Spaghetti Western fans and uh, casual fans of Westerns would uh, appreciate these four Westerns and uh, a great package from Arrow Video. In the uh, Vengeance Trails Spaghetti Western set. And speaking of another Western movie set put out from Arrow Video. And uh, before we get to this Major Dundee, that uh, Vengeance Trail set. Uh, yeah, guys, if you did miss that unboxing video, then it's still on the channel. Uh, this is Major Dundee, a Sam Peckinpah American Western starring Charlton Heston. Uh, never saw this one coming 
to our video, a uh, Peckinpah classic from the mid 1960s, starring Charlton Heston and Richard Harris, and also James Coburn. And uh, fine release, you do get two cuts of the movie. And my buddy Dan from Physical Media for Life, he also did uh, an unboxing video of this release so if you want to check out this uh, release in uh, full detail i will leave the link to that video in the uh, description box down below but let's hope for more sam peck and power uh, arrow video releases possibly the wild bunch and pat garrett and billy the kid would uh, would be awesome And I'm usually not a fan of Western comedies, but this one from the 90s, uh, Richard Donner movie. This is Maverick, based on the TV series from the uh, late 1950s and early 60s, with actually James Garner played the lead role. But in this one, he returns as the, the lawman. And uh, yeah, very, very good uh, Western comedy with Mel Gibson and Jodie Foster from the director of uh, Superman and the uh, Lethal Weapon movies. I uh, wasn't expecting a lot of this when I watched this one in the 90s, but it's a very good one. Maverick. And the last Western is actually a modern day Western with Michael Fassbender. This is uh, Slow West. And uh, yeah, it's a short Western, this one but it's okay for a uh, modern day western slow west so more western movie goodness to the collection the next movie is actually a very underrated gangster movie from the early 1970s this is the don is dead obviously uh the main gangster movie in the early 70s was the Godfather with Marlon Brando and uh, Al Pacino but this one The Don is Dead uh, a bit like Terence Young's The Valachi Papers kind of gets overlooked and this is the Eureka UK release and this one starring Anthony Quinn and Robert Forster a uh, crime Don passes away in uh, Las Vegas then you have a, uh, a gang war starts over two main mafia men and it actually starts up over the affections of a female and this is a uh, Richard Fleischer movie Richard Fleischer made many classics in the 50s and 60s and uh, also directed uh, Charles Bronson in Mr Majestic and he also done a couple of Arnie movies, uh, Conan the Destroyer and uh, Red Sonja. Anthony Quinn as one of the main Mafia men. And some great shootouts in this movie, The Don is Dead. Highly underrated gangster movie. And there you have Robert Forster. Don is dead. The uh, next three releases are from the US. Um, this one was actually sent to us by my good buddy Mike from Daig Films, and uh, this is the Arrow Video US Arrow Video release of Over the Edge, a uh, late nineteen seventies movie starring a young. Matt Dillon, actually his first movie role. Uh, I've got to be honest, this movie was sent to us as he had a spare copy and I wasn't familiar with this one. And this one's about a uh, a community of uh, youngsters. Uh, they kind of rebel against the authorities in the community when uh, one of their own, a local teenager, dies. And then all hell breaks loose but guys if you have seen this movie um, 
share your thoughts down below because it's one that I've never been familiar with. Matt Dillon was a heartthrob in the 80s and 90s from uh, the movie The Outsiders and The Flamingo Kid. There is Matt Dillon there. And he did put out a credible performance in the movie Crash uh, many years later. But yeah, never seen this one before. So a big thank you to Mike from Daig Films for sending this spare copy, Kids on a Crime Spree. And as far as I know, I don't think uh, our video in the UK are going to be releasing this movie. But yeah, many thanks, Mike, for sending this title out to us. Next movie is a Joe Dante movie that always skipped me by in the 80s. Uh, this one's from the director of uh, Gremlins, Joe Dante. Uh, Explorers, starring River Phoenix and Ethan Hawke. This is the Shout Select Collector's Edition. Comes with the slipcover. And that is the uh, cover that I am more familiar with. And this comes in two discs. And a couple of best friends. They dream of a... Uh, of a space travel uh, fans of uh, B monster movies they decide to build their own sort of homemade spacecraft for a possible uh, space adventure explorers And the last US edition is actually Basic Instinct 2, which I never got around to watching, uh, which came out in 2006. Catherine Trammell is now living in uh, London. Uh, actually, Michael Douglas did turn down the chance to appear in the sequel. Uh, as far as I know, this movie, I do know that this one was it bombed terribly, but um, I do still want to watch this movie, and it does come with two two cuts. You do get an extended cut by two minutes. You get the 116-minute un unrated uh, extended cut. And actually, the next movie is Godzilla vs. Kong. And if I was to be really critical of uh, me being a movie fan, is that I don't watch enough modern-day movies. Um, but this one, I actually do prefer the Kong, King Kong and Godzilla movies from the past. Uh, this one was a real... a. Uh, a movie of CGI overload. Uh, yeah, it was below average. I mean, it was nice seeing Godzilla and Kong going at it, which the last half an hour is kind of more on them. But yeah, the actors and storyline, I mean, you could really fast forward the scenes, the acting scenes with uh, certain actors. There was nothing uh, interesting in watching that. It was just basically about the Kong and Godzilla battle. But yeah, not as good as uh, some of the classic uh, Kong and Godzilla movies, in my opinion. The next four movies are action movies, which I picked up in my local CX store. Uh, this one's a Wesley Snipes movie that I've been after for a while, Passenger 57 from the early 90s, um, which I don't mind a lot of the action movies that Wesley Snipes are, was in at that uh, decade. A uh, terrorist takes over, a, uh, a well-known terrorist takes over a plane and he's masterminded uh, several previous attacks. 
and but he doesn't realize that a uh, security uh, undercover security operative in Wesley Snipes is on board uh, pretty good action movie this one in passenger 57 uh, quite a short movie I think it was around about the 80 minute mark yeah 84 minutes Next movie is a Dwayne Johnson movie. Uh, this is Snitch. Um, a lot of the uh, Dwayne Johnson family orientated movies uh, I'm not a big fan of, but ones with more of a, an adult theme, like this one, Snitch, is more to my liking. This one, you also get Susan Saradon, she's in this movie. Yeah, one of the uh, better movies with D Dwayne Johnson. He uh, he owns a construction company, and uh, his uh, young son he gets um, he gets done for drug trafficking, and rather than him going inside, uh, Dwayne Johnson he strikes up a deal with a um, a U.S. attorney about being a uh, undercover informant against the uh, a drug local drug cartel but yeah very good action drama this one snitch one of Dwayne Johnson's uh, better and uh, one of his underrated movies in my opinion uh, I'm ashamed to say that I haven't seen this uh, Zack Snyder uh, gladiator, mo gladiator movie 300 um, and actually I didn't realize that he had a pretty good cast in this one. You've got Gerard Butler, which I knew, and Dominic West and Michael Fassbender is in this movie. had to pick this one up because I did uh, get a copy of the second movie, the sequel, in a contest win. So it makes it more sense to pick up the original movie. And the next movie... Christian Slater movie with Morgan Freeman. This is Hard Rain from the late 1990s. A truck, a armored truck carrying three million dollars, gets stuck in a town of uh, of floods, and uh, the whole population gets gets um, evacuated, only for a gang to want to try and uh, rob the uh, three million dollars but you also get Randy Quaid in this movie uh, as far as I remember this one was a pretty solid action movie hard rain and then on to the uh, 4k releases I picked up the uh, Arrow video True Ro Romance uh, 4K Collectors Set. You did have a uh, Blu-ray release as well as a Zavi uh, Deluxe Edition. But another beautiful release put out by Arrow Video of this uh, Tony Scott 1990s movie. There are all the features. You do get two cuts of the movie in this one. Uh, actually, the movie was written by Quentin Tarantino. So we'll have a little look at this uh, beautiful release. Starring Christian Slater and Patricia Arquette. This is the back of the uh, slip box. Have a quick look at the uh, contents inside. And such a strong cast of actors in this movie. You also get Dennis Hopper, Val Kilmer, Gary Oldman, Brad Pitt, Christopher Walken, and also James Galdafini pop up in this uh, great gangster, romantic gangster movie. There you have the disc and some movie cards, which we'll have a look at. And these are the movie cards. British director Tony Scott. 
who are uh, more known for doing the movie uh, Top Gun, also Beverly Hills Cop 2, and also Last Boy Scout, one of Bruce Willis's better movies, and also Man on Fire with uh, Denzel Washington. Patricia Arquette, probably her best uh, role. She did also appear in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Uh, this movie, probably one of my favourite Christian Slater movie performances. Then you get a double-sided poster, which is uh, very cool. as well as the cover. Nice touch from Arrow Video. And then you get a 60 page book. And this is one of the uh, photos that associate with the movie that I'm more familiar with. Actually, the movie was a, a flop. It only broke even. Um, cost in 12 and a half million and uh, it got 12.6 million dollars in return so yeah I mean even though it's got a cult movie following the movie didn't do good at all uh, you also do get Samuel L Jackson and also Michael Rappaport are in this movie as well uh, so what a great cast of actors in this movie uh, it's been such a long time since I last watched this movie and uh, Christian Slayer with that shirt steals the show and also Brad Pitt I forget that he's in the movie and the movie is about a uh, couple of newlyweds uh, they're on the run from the Mafia after stealing a shipment of uh, drugs. Gary Oldman there. Dennis Hopper. So guys, let us know which edition you picked up. I know the uh, Zavi Dulux edition got sold out real quick. quite a few Arrow Video Collector's Editions in this update but it's just a 4k release this one does it include with the blu-ray so yeah there's your little quick unboxing of the uh, Arrow Video Collector's Edition of True Romance And the last movie on show that I picked up in July is the uh, Zavi exclusive, Steelbook uh, 4K exclusive of the uh, Last Action Hero, the uh, Steelbook edition, which I did do an unboxing video of on the channel. There you have Arnold Schwarzenegger in Last Action Hero, a very underrated action comedy movie so guys there are all the movie titles that I picked up in July 2021 um, be good to hear your comments what you thought of what I picked up and it's always cool and uh, good to uh, interact with you guys so guys stay healthy and safe out there and as always keep on collecting movies